Oh, and right into a construct boss. That music motif there. The sinking pit of your stomach. Okay. And we're gonna get more music, too. Chill, chill, chill. I'm not about you right now. Is this just a boss, or is it a maze? Because if it's a maze, then it might give me a couple tools to beat the boss. Or a couple tips. Also, I can't... Wow, that haunting music. It, it reminded me of the sound that plays when the pirate's charm activates in Wind Waker. Also, this, uh... Skew morph of game design from uh, from older Zelda games saying, "Hey, hookshot here. There's a ledge," and now it's just saying, "Hey, <laughs> there's a ledge. There's no hookshot." Although that would be awesome. I kind of I kind of hoped for a <laughs> a hookshot there. I knew I wasn't gonna get one, but power. Wait, a, a zone I bow that draws power from your energy cell cell power drains, and arrows fly much further according to how long a shot is charged. Okay, I I haven't paid attention to that up until now. And apparently, I've never had a Zonai bow before. And I don't have enough battery for a third charge, if there is one. I assume there is one. Alright, I, I briefly considered ascending through the, the ceiling, but we know what's up there. We've been up there. And I don't have a warp point, so I don't want to have to dive all the way through this again. Looks like sir, there's a ruined construct here, or perhaps one that's still alive? No, it's dead. Sorry, buddy. Is this a room? I love that music. I think it might be the sample from from Wind Waker. Soldier 3 Reaper. 38 power. Not too bad. It's already fused, though. That's the thing. We'll drop this for now. I might come back and pick it up. I do have a couple weapons that I want to use. This being, or uh, not that, that, this being one of them. I'm kind of hoping that there is some sort of build cir uh, revolving around Desperate Strength. It, it's a really cool idea. Uh, it just isn't very well supported by the game because of insta-kill protection, uh, just how much damage the enemies deal. But maybe there's some sort of build that that makes you has gives you more defense the lower health you are, or maybe something that slowly regains your health, because desperate strength, while really cool, being always always one hit away from death, is like definitely an end game build. Also, wait, what does des desperate strength have a definition? Down to your last heart, period. So maybe... Yeah, that, that kind of limits... That stifles design space. Because not only do you then have to get down to one heart... Um, so it's really just a... Hey, you got hit. Insta-kill protection kicked in. You're super strong now. Eh. I'm going to drop these for now. We will come back for them. In fact, I'm tempted just to take them with me. Uh, is that breakable? <laughs> Don't know. I don't think that's breakable. Maybe it is. Hold up. No. Okay. I think that's probably all this place has to offer. There we go. Last room. Just has a chest in it. Always look up. And not be able to grab the chest. Ooh. That's why we look up, folks. Yeah, they're definitely preparing us for this fight. So I, I guess I will start leaving some of my, my equipment behind. I can use these weapons and then grab the new one. Or grab my old ones. Let's, just so I don't have to go through all that again, I'm going to make a save. 
I'd rather, I'd rather not deal with looting those rooms again. And I need to remember, at the end of the day, it's just another machine. Flux Construct 3. It's gonna move quickly. Yep, there it is. I expect to move that direction. Where is its core? It's in... Is it moving? It almost looks like it didn't manifest for a second. Okay, I'm starting to figure out. It moves, okay. So I'm gonna start disassembling this guy. Yeah, he moves every time. So if I start stripping him of his his blocks, then he won't. I can grab it like that. Whoa! <sighs> grab a block while I'm at it. It's constantly switching. It looks like I grabbed it and it didn't. Oh. Okay. Okay. Die. Good amount of damage. I thought that was gonna be attack. Second phase. Is he high enough for me to send through? We're fine. Jump on top. And let's get up to his level. Let's damage in. That'll break him apart, and I should be able to finish him off. Do I have a stronger weapon? I do. Let's use some of that well-earned stamina. And finish him off. Nice fight, bro. Sweet. What do we get? Zone I charges, a lot of them, a control platform. Beam emitter, crystal charges, mirrors, beam emitter charges, and a new thing. Oh. I haven't gotten that till now. Lol. Uh, I have an idea. I don't know if this is possible. Oh, wait, this is a three. Okay. If I had two of these, could I fuse them together and then fuse them to a weapon? I almost feel like I could just because... They're like, they're special. I don't know, I just get that vibe from them that that might work. Okay, what am I fusing this to? Sword, long sword, probably the long sword I'd imagine. I don't imagine that would be good on a spear. Yeah. I'll have this thing deal a lot of damage. That's a pretty good weapon. Not amazing, but pretty good. I, I don't know if this has additional effects, like it does more damage to constructs. That was kind of the vibe in um, in Breath of the Wild. Uh, ancient weapons were better against ancient enemies, but I don't know how it works in this game necessarily. If this this thing has any extra perks or if it just looks cool. You have traversed this labyrinth of the depths. This trial was a test of your talents. In overcoming it, you have shown yourself to be strong of body, skill, and mind. In my name as the ruler of boars, I commend your achievement and offer a fitting reward. Armor wreathed in otherworldly evil, hidden away since days of old. Take it now. Oh, I thought it was just gonna, like, spring into existence. Evil boars? Is this guy Ganondorf? He is the Lord of Boars, and he's talking about evil. Is it... Chest... Boar armor? Oh, it's this. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the stealth armor that I have. Although I guess it does give more armor. Thank you. Uh, still, that's a pretty good reward. Uh, also, I, for some reason I had it in my mind, I was like, well, we're probably gonna get, like, a, a shrine here, but no, that they, they wouldn't offer that exception. I thought I looted that already. Oh, I looted the other side. They wouldn't offer that exception to the depths, because this is, these are the depths. And you're not gonna get spirit orbs in the depths. Wow, what a climax. Do I even want any of my old gear? I don't think I do. I have 
I have a boomerang, a nice boomerang. And juggling them while cool. I think we can take a break from that once this breaks. We have some really good gear. And we're leaving Gerudo in tip-top shape here. Uh, I think... Before I get these posoles... I think what I'm gonna do... I don't think that Gerudo statue is anything. Man, I was just about to like be like, yeah, we did it, we can leave now. Huzzah! And then they pull this garbage. The problem is, is that these these statues aren't coded. Wait. Oh, these lead here. I think. Maybe? No, but they're leading away. Hey, hey, hey. Why? Fine. Give me a second. I'm just gonna sate my curiosity, and then we're going to proceed with what I was actually talking about. Yeah, I, I remember this now. Which means, based on the trajectory of these statues, they are leading to this, the abandoned Gerudo mine. Okay, so I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I worried for, for nothing. Okay. Now, before I leave the depths, there is one actual thing I would like to do. And don't worry, it's definite, so we're not going to get on a wild goose chase here. Uh, I need to find the Lionel again. I actually forget where it was. And I want to fight it again, because I got a comment that seems too good to be true. Uh, it seems like something that any developer worth their salt would have considered, but I think I know why it's the case. And I don't think the Lionel is near this warp point, so give me a sec. Never mind! My memory served me, my confidence betrayed me. But I was right. I want to face this Lionel again. Partially because a Blood Moon just happened. We know where this thing is. I should actually mark it on the map so I can farm them towards the end game. But I want to fight this again. And I want to be equipped with a certain item when I do. Muddle Buds. Apparently. Uh, what's her face? Why can't I think of her name? Uh, Riju. Riju's lightning didn't stun it last episode because, or the two episodes ago? I Probably like three episodes ago at this point. Anyway, when we fought this thing, Riju's lightning didn't stun it because they are immune to elemental hazards now. Makes sense, honestly, considering how much, uh, how much easier of fights were when you could multi-shot them in the face, stun them for five seconds. But, they are not immune to muddle butts. Eh, future pal here, yes, I did misread the comment, but... Just watch. So you can just do this. And we're going to get our highest power weapon. I'm going to eat a literal apple because I want the insta-kill protection. I'm actually gaming around that. And we're going to fly in here. And then I'm going to throw a metal butt at this guy. Uh, granted, uh, he has that. So I might have to break his armor first. But yeah, I'm going to have to break his armor first. Ow. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. One. Two. And I'd like to switch bows to... Yeah, let's try out our multi-shot bow. We're gonna get another one. Three. Now we can see his secondary health bar. Uh, what weapon should I use to break this? Yeah, the smasher. That's fine. That should probably work. I want to shield bash this guy. Uh, we're gonna use this. This very clumsy attacks. Come on. Good stuff. This will break it, and then the second phase. Oh wait, wait, wait! I can climb him. Switch my best weapon, which is made from him, made from literally this guy. Um, uh, you're just gonna shoot him. I'm not even gonna shoot him because. Oh, I missed. That's fine. Throw. Oh my word, that works. It kind of works. Here's the thing, though. 
I don't want the flurry rush. It doesn't stun him. Like the commenter said it did. Now, he was stunned for a moment, so maybe that's what he's talking about. There's the fire attack. But, okay, it's... When it wears off, we're gonna try it again. R Riju can do her little ch bits of chip damage. I'm really curious about this, because... If it works, I can still get the Fully Rush that off that, actually. That's neat. Okay, mount him. I can. If that works... Then, presumably, we can just muddle bud these guys... Oh, that's point blank, really, bro? <laughs> we can muddle butt them, we can mount them, and then we don't have to use our... We can always use our best weapon. Muddle him? Mount, 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 mount. Okay. Interesting. So let me talk about why I think this, this works, or why I think it works the way it does. I believe it works because... Lynels, despite their difficulty, despite the amount of attacks they have, are not bosses. And so, the game is coded that bosses are immune to Muddle Buds. He's not a boss. And they forgot to code that, or it was very intentional. Um, it doesn't look like this is quite the debilitating um, effect that that the commenter was saying it was, but I'm not going to give up confidence just yet. Because if he's not immune to Muddle Buds, maybe, maybe he's uh, not immune to Dazzle Fruit. Uh, I think that was just bad timing, honestly. I'm not going to give up on the Dazzle Fruit just yet. The Dazzle Dream! Nope. Okay, he's immune to that. Now we're going to try the other one. Puff shrooms. I can't tell if he stopped his attack. Oh, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me, and he's just blindly attacking into the fog. That's also useful. I need to use these so much more than I do. Like, he just realized that I'm back. And he's gonna attack based on the last point he saw me. That's so good. And then I can just... Ma mount him? Oh, I can't mount him. I also need to re-understand what determines whether or not I can mount. <laughs> uh, oh, different attack. You can tell I, I still have that Breath of the Wild experience in me. That Breath of the Wild dog in me. <laughs> Good job, Riju. That was a weird little flurry. Flourish. Can I kill this guy with just shield bashes? Because I am dealing damage. And I'm not using durability. Curious. Um, okay, if he's going to retreat, I'm going to drop. What do you mean I can't take that out now? Drop. What? Hold up. Hold. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do. Okay. Are we good there? Thank you. Switch my shield over to this. And I'm curious. I had this theory uh, like 10 episodes ago, and I, this is the first I'm acting on it. In theory, this is a 10 defense, uh, or 50, oh. this is a 50 attack shield. I wonder if this does... Oh, use the bone. Okay. That's good to know. Ow. Switch back over to the shield that actually does a little bit of damage. Ow. At this point, this is all good data, and I don't even know how I'm going to be including this in the episode. Because really, I'm, I'm just kind of messing around. Yeah, push, push your shield around. Ow. Okay, maybe, maybe I should finish the fight. Oh. 
Wait for it. Mount him. Nice. Okay, we learned some stuff. Muddle Fruit does work. It's not like they're gonna be putting other enemies near Lynels, but Muddle Fruit does work. I can still shield bash Lynels, we learned that. We get the Saber Horn. The bro was using a knight's broadsword like a peasant. We're looking really, really good. And with that, we're going to make one last trip to Gerudo Town. Let's talk to Riju one last time. Is that? Yes, it is. Uh. Link, the helm you're wearing. Is it the treasure the old document mentioned? Wow. I see, wow. So the treasure was armor affiliated with the ancient Gerudo. I knew you'd be able to find it. Take it with you and make good use of it. I haven't gotten any in new information about Zelda. It seems she hadn't be hasn't been around recently. That's the kind of conversation I was hoping I'd have. Okay. I'm really just back in Gerudo to get some... to get stamina. That's all I care about. Specifically stamina because... We are going to a place that will need it desperately. And honestly... The stamina I'm about to have isn't as much as I would like for where we're going. We wanted to go east, and while I think Nekludo would be a nice change of pace, we have an unfinished quest, although it's not marked. In Breath of the Wild, there was a quest revolving around the heroines, and that quest concluded with us going to the Gerudo Highlands. You can already see where I'm going with this. And finding the eighth heroine. And I am going to return to the Highlands to do just that. I don't know if we're going north. Like, I don't know if we're just going to to keep it to this region or if we're going to continue to Rito. I kind of don't want to go to Rito. There's a part of me that, that still thinks, hey... The game was pushing me to go there, so I'm not going to go there. So, we can still go east. Maybe we go here, and then we go here, and then we go here, and then we chase after uh, Koga. But, for now, I think the Highlands is where I'm setting my sights. Let's say goodbye to Isha. Sava. Well, what do you think of my specialty crafted arms of the Seven? I made them to be used, not to gather dust, so it would mean a lot to me if you kept them close. Oh, I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> Oh, what a nice thing to say. Well, I'm happy to see you too. You're Vasak anytime. Does she say anything different if I'm a if I have those weapons equipped? Also, I didn't throw Did I throw away? I think I did. Ha! <laughs> I think I threw the shield away. Uh no, 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 never mind. This is it. Right? I think. Yeah, okay, this is Daybreaker. I need to be careful that I don't throw this away. Okay. I can't, I can't help but think tonight is going to be a chilly one. Kara can help you find an accessory to deal with the biting cold. She's inside the shop. She's still got the way to go before she'd be ready to make something like the arms of the seven. Nevertheless, she's an exceptional artisan. You'll be happy with anything she sells you. Ma? And that's... I, I didn't just drop by to say hello. I'm going to buy one of these items. That's right. Thinking about it, I... I want to be wearing the snow boots, but I don't get cold protection from the snow boots. But if I'm wearing this, then I should be fine. Ruby circlet, a headpiece made by Gerudo craft workers. It's set with the ruby, a gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more bearable. Uh... And I'm gonna buy it. Honestly, I can't <laughs> believe that I am, but honestly, it's gonna be really useful to us. We won't- we're gonna be able to have our cake and eat it too. And honest- and that was kind of a, a spur of the moment decision as well. Okay. It's been a long and hot journey. But I'm ready to go to the Highlands. That said... I don't think I ever said that I was going straight there, did I? On the contrary. 
we came to Gerudo from below. And we're going to go to the Gerudo Highlands from above. <laughs> 